In this architecture for a cognitive system, we have drawn these boxes as if metacognition was completely separate from deliberation and deliberation was completely separate from reaction. In fact, there might be considerable overlap between metacognition and deliberation. Some processes in deliberation might be viewed as metacognitive processes. Some processes of metacognitive might be viewed as deliberative processes. To see why the lines between metacognition and deliberation are blurry, let us return to this example from explanation-based learning. When we talked about explanation-based learning, we did not talk about metacognition at all. We can view the agent as saying, well, I do not know how to build a connection between this part of the explanation and this part of the explanation. Therefore, I'll set up a reasoning goal which pulls at some other knowledge and so on. Now that we know the vocabulary of metacognition, it is easy to view all of that in terms of this new vocabulary. So instead of thinking of deliberation and metacognition as two separate independent boxes, a better way might be to think in terms of boxes that partially overlap as a meta space and as a deliberation space. We should not be overly concerned whether something should go into the deliberation space or into the metacognition space. The more important thing is, what is the content of knowledge that we need to carry out a process, and what is the process that we need to carry out?